Welcome to week 5 of the BB Sport and Scale Quarter Scale SE5A build. This video is a slideshow with a voiceover of some pictures I took while building it. Day 29. I glued the 0.4mm plywood on top of the cockpit and that makes a good meter of a uh, very thin plywood on top of the model. When this has dried, I can cut out the opening for the pilot. Finalizing the wing roots also goes well. Now only one strip of 0.4mm plywood remains. Day 30. Many small jobs today, most of them according to the instructions. The first thing I did was to fit and fasten down the lower wing center section and screw on the engine. One of the nuts holding the wing is a little defective, full of glue I think. So I was not able to put in that bolt. I will maybe have to fit a new T-nut. I put in a few cedar strips and a balsa plank for the tank floor. When the time comes, I will be able to wrap the tank with Velcro to hold it in place. I then cut out the cockpit area, ready for the pilot to take seat. Finally, I glued on the bottom of the fuselage under the engine. I had to cut away small pieces to make way for the exhaust tube and the spark plug, but nobody's going to notice that. Day 31. And so we come to the landing gear. The wires for the gear are placed under the wing center section and then bound with the tinned fuse wire. Magical wire, which is not sold here in Iceland. The axle holder is bound in with the wire. And then this is soldered, soldered, in place with the blowtorch. I had to remove the landing gear off the fuselage to do the last bit of soldering so as not to set the fuse on fire. And here we have the SE5A standing on its own two feet for the first time. Day 32. I could not find my set of taps, so I went to the shops and bought a new M4 tap. I used it to tap the T-nut that would not cooperate. Now the bolt can be screwed in like it should, and the wing will be held on as directed. I have to mention that I found my taps as soon as I had ripped off the packaging of the new one. Typical. I used the rest of the morning gluing the control horns to the ailerons, filling all un unwanted voids and generally sanding them with a fine sandpaper. I did not really like the fact that the horns are made of clear acrylic, so I cut down bits of 0.4mm plywood and glued them to the horns. Now they look much better. The ailerons are now ready for covering. Day 33. The fastenings for the interplane struts and the rigging are made with split pins inserted and glued to the main spar. The tank has now been plumbed and it can go and sit where it belongs. I did need to make another hole in the firewall to get the tubing to go easily through the firewall. Now I just have to find a place for the throttle and choke servos. Day 34. The tensioners for the flying wires are something I have never seen before. They're held in place with plastic straps. A special wire that fits the locking system well is inserted and then will connect to, to the actual fi uh, flying wires. Took me a very long time and some strenuous work to fit the first one. Some of the locks 
were easy and were a quick fit. Next, I fitted the magnets that hold, that hold the struts. This is something I would never have thought up myself. The magnets are held in place with taps that I had to bend under the plywood. One tab would not go in, so I had to cut a bit off it, and then I could not reach the tab to bend it. So I put some epoxy glue under it to hold it. Day 35. Today I spent a happy time finishing the flying wire fastenings for the other wing and then sanding with a fine sandpaper anything that needed sanding. Now all four wings are ready for the fabric covering. It is on order and will be added to the model as soon as it arrives. The last thing to do to the wings was to add the fastenings for the servos. The servos are on order.